Hey there guys and gals, it is F1 Backwards here, back with another top 10 video and this time we are looking at the top 10 easiest games of 2019. Now as we know there have been plenty of amazing and stunning games about and then not so stunning games but hey, a thousand gamers score on platinum trophy for basically nothing in under an hour is also good right? So who's the real winner here? Also because basically every rat like a game is as easy as pissing up against a wall no Rata Like A Game is included in this list, otherwise it would be like a top 50 or something. I will also be including the prices of said games, so we have a nice total amount at the end to see what money you need to chalk up an easy 10,000 game score or another 10 Platinum Trophies. So then, with that being said, let's begin. And coming in at number 10, we have Hexalogic. And we have quite a nice start here. Hexalogic is a, well, logic based puzzle game in which you have to change the number of dots inside the empty hexagon. Either one, two, or three dots. So their sum equals the number along the edges. Now, of course, as you progress through the 90 basic levels and 21 special levels on hard, they do get progressively more difficult and it would prove to be quite the challenge of doing it on your own. Luckily, there's a few guides available, video or pictures, so you could do this easily as hell in under an hour for a nice price of just £4.19. The controls are nice and simple, and the developers even added shortcut buttons too. So for one dot, you press X, for two dots, you press Y, and three dots, press B. But that's up to you. Some find it awkward and stick with just pressing A, but overall, that is a nice easy start. And coming in at number 9 then is Old Man's Journey. Now this is a really nice game. It's relaxing, it's beautiful and very enjoyable with a great story. It's a basic, simple click and point puzzle adventure game in which you have to elevate certain parts of the level, i.e. mountains etc. to get ahead. Now this one you can easily do yourself, but the reason it's only number 9 on the list, and for those who have already played it will know, it's that damn smooth ride achievement. So for the majority, it's usually click on these animals, click on that guy, and achievement unlocks. But the smooth ride consists of a small train ride, but without using the emergency brake. And you know that by the brake squeal, you can hear it. So your job is to move the mountains up and down for the train to fly through. The problem is on the Xbox or PS4 controller, there seems to be like a sort of extremely tiny delay when you move a mountain up or down, resulting in some extreme frustration. Luckily, there's an easier way. Download it on your PC or laptop and just use a regular mouse. With this, you can fly through it, no worries, and carry on with your easy 1K and plat. Still, even with that tricky achievement, for a price of just £8.39 and a potential 1-2 to two hour completion rate, you won't be disappointed. And at number 8, we have the Caretaker game. Now this is a classic example of our first uh, not so good game on this list. Now Caretaker centers around a journalist who investigates a deranged caretaker who has killed all of his co-workers. But just the thought of it, you'd think it would have so much potential. Well sadly it doesn't really live up to its potential. I mean, in terms of beating and completing the full 1k in under an hour very easily is great, but you want to at least enjoy it, don't you? There are seven miscellaneous achievements, all very easily obtainable just by picking up certain items, looking at objects, etc. But again, the game's so short, it really wouldn't matter if you missed one, because you can blast through it again in about half an hour. But now what can get extra annoying though, and this is the sort of bad point of the game, is the game freezes for around 20 seconds while picking up an item now and again, and freezes while saving sometimes. So for the love of God, do not turn it off. Either way, for £6.69, you'll be glad to sort of just pick it up, complete it, and get it out of the way. And here at number 7, we have Woodle Tree Adventures. This isn't too bad of a game. I mean, it is designed for kids, so you wouldn't expect it to be a record breaker, would you? Uh, <laughs> it's a very short game, only 7 levels to blast through, and they are not very long either. So your main goal is to find three fairy tiers in each level, and that's it. They're always in the same place every time you load the level, which is handy. 
and you also need to be mindful about collecting all the berries you can because while the achievements and trophies are very straightforward you have to grind out a little bit for the 3000 berries collected achievement and trophy. By the end of the game you'll collect uh, roughly about 1500 so around another hour of grinding is required and you can do this on farm extra level 2 and there's a guide by Sangrias and Bill Zuminati on where best to go to get the mats from each level. It's super easy, super chilled, it gets you more chilled than smoking weed this, uh, parental advisory sticker, don't smoke weed if you end up whatever smoking age it is from your country. So that's basically the game. The grind can be a little bit boring after a few minutes or so, but overall again for just £4.19 and 2 hour completion rate, what's not to love right? And coming in at number 6 we have Glass Masquerade and what a lovely little artistic puzzle game this is. This is another relaxing enjoyable completion with a guide, otherwise it can probably get a little bit frustrating. But the main premise is simply combining unique glass pieces to unveil clocks and complete puzzles. It's a very well done game and very well worth the £9.59. It can take anywhere between 2-5 to five hours to complete depending on how quick you do the puzzles as some can take up to 20 minutes to complete but in terms of achievements and trophies it's literally straightforward no messing about or story related it is a job well done and well worth the dosh you part with and at number five it is planet rix 13 and this is another great fun game on this list so planet rix 13 with the guide can take only half an hour to complete and enjoy and with it being a modern 2D scrolling point and click adventure, you may think it could pose a problem with potential camera issues or something, but it literally doesn't. It plays smooth and lovely and the controls are very simple, just the left directional stick and the X button. Now if you were to play this without a guide, you might find yourself replaying the game once or twice as there are up to 10 missable achievement and trophies, and some are not obvious as to what you have to do. So bear that one in mind, but as I said, for just £4.19, if you've got to replay it, you won't actually mind replaying for half an hour. Not like some games where you question your life, is it worth another painful hour or two for one achievement or trophy, as we've all done in the past. And just missing out on the top three spot is Trax Train Set Game. Now this is another rather enjoyable and very easy game. Track Train Set Game was released on Xbox Game Pass and people snapped this up lovely. As did the guide making content creators, <laughs> like crows they are. <laughs> now to be fair, if you were to play this game properly, it's worth doing as it's fun to explore and make and create different tracks to get to the locations people are to pick them up. I assume you figured out toy game train sets, so it's set in house effectively. You got it? Oh good. But of course if you're just after the quick completion there's a little trick that's yet to be patched. So basically what you need to do is instead of creating a track that gets to your passengers and then building one to your destination, you can simply put a platform down, start line, cross and train track by the passengers, go into camera free row mode, go over to your destination, rinse and repeat that and it's job done. It's easily done in around about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, but again, it's another relaxing, enjoyable game, and get it now while it's on Game Pass. Go on, go get it now, while it's fresh in your mind. Now this could be a Christmas present off someone, and also the achievements are easily done, pretty much with or without a guide, but plenty of good guides out there to follow anyway. And welcome to the top three, and here we have Tracks Build It Race It slash Scaletrics. Okay, and here we have a contender for the worst, but another one of the easiest games on this list. So this is an on-rail racer, very much like Scaletrics. Everyone loved racing Scaletrics. Sadly though, the same can't be said for the game, which was named Scaletrics in European and other regions. But as for the achievements, you just need to win a race against a level 2 AI on each track, and that's it, it's that easy. But what makes the game so bad is just little things really, like there's no variation of cars, it's just the same four with a different paint job, there's no music, it's just the sound of an RC car, there's no different location either, it just all takes place in the kid's room. 
glitches and horrid camera angles, to, to, to name just a few. Also, before anyone asks, Skeletrix was released in 2018, but Tracks Build It was released on 2nd of January 2019. So, I'm slightly cheating and saying we go on about the Tracks version on this one, so that's all good. But as I said, it's about an hour and a half of the full completion, so you may think if it's so crap, why is it so high up? Uh, just remember, this is an easiest game for Game Score and Trophies 2019 list, so. Yeah, it's easy enough, but, well, it's just total sh Welcome to number two, and this is Fractured Minds. Now, this would have been number one, but you'll see exactly why it isn't in a moment, but this is as easy as you can get this year. Now, Fractured Minds is brought to you by the very talented Emily Mitchell, and it's a game that all revolves around mental health, and it's pretty fantastic, if you ask me. Now, if you really take an in-depth look at it, you'll feel what Emily feels and others with anxiety and other mental health issues. But as far as the game goes, you only have to smash through six levels, three miscellaneous achievements and trophies, which are extremely simple. And the best part is it only takes you around 15 minutes, maybe even less to complete. And for just £1.79, you are on to an absolute winner. The game is good, but just like others on this list, don't go in thinking it'll be sort of game of the year or anything. This game was made to help Emily deal with her anxiety and within it, it sends a very powerful message. But as we said, 15 minutes for a full 1000 or platinum, bargain. And here we are then, number one easiest game of 2019 and you will see exactly why right now. Now in all honesty, I don't think people know that there's a story to this. But if you have, you'll know it's actually a very heartwarming story with a nice bout of emotion in it. But the reason I say some people may not know there is a story is because this is how easy it is to play the game and get all the achievements and trophies. So start the game, press A, uh, that's it. Just constantly press A. In fact, there's a setting you can choose in the menu to make it go even faster. By spamming the A button and putting on a show or film for half hour, you can blast through the whole game without even realising what you were doing. Sometimes you are a fantastic company and again, even though you can smash through it, I actually advise you to look at the game for a touch of the old uh, heartstrings there. But you know, it depends on how quick you want that sweet, sweet gamer score. £4.99 and it's all yours. And that is why A Winter's Daydream is my number one easiest game of the year. So that's my list then for the easiest games of 2019. So did you agree with it? Was there any games that you thought should have been on here? And maybe you thought I was talking crap and they weren't actually that easy at all. Let me know in the comments section below. All friendly though, yeah? <laughs> if you did enjoy, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more 100% game guides, top 10s and more great content. And I shall see you in the next one.